Today I want to talk about innovation and the exotic. When you think of innovation, you think of inventors in the garage coming up with exciting ideas that no one else has ever thought of before. And generally a man on his own and the idea comes from nowhere, it's just a brainwave that hits them and they make something new and exciting that changes the world forever. For me, innovation is about the new, the different, the unknown. So innovation is about new things. It's about difference, it's about change. It's not about society as it is, it's not about things as they are. It's about things as they could be and should be. That's why I want to connect innovation to the exotic. Because I think if you're thinking of something new, you want something new to the environment, new to the current context, new to the mainstream. Innovation isn't the mainstream evolving and suddenly changing from one moment to the next. It's about introducing something new something from the margins, something from outside of the mainstream, which is the exotic. And the exotic is what you don't see on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Something which is not necessarily diametrically opposite, because that isn't always the case. That's just an extreme. When we look at the exotic, the opposite to the exotic is the everyday, the ordinary, the quotidian. To say something is exotic is not to reduce it to something which is alien or other. It's just something which we don't see on an everyday basis. It might be because of geography. It might be because of ideology. It might be because of routine, but something which is outside of that context. If you think of a Venn diagram, it's as if the Venn diagram of two separate sets suddenly starts to connect and intersect. And in the intersect between the old and the new, between the mainstream and the margin, you see the novel, you see the exotic, you see the innovation. That's what I think innovation is about. And if innovation is that, if it's about introducing the new into the existing, it's about introducing the margins into the mainstream, then you can't hope that a group of like-minded individuals will necessarily come up with a completely new idea because they will all think in the same way, they'll have the same perspective when they look at things. So you need to introduce something different. So into a group of all men, you need women. Into a group of people of European heritage, you need to introduce people who aren't of European heritage. Into a group of old people, you need young people. I think that's how you make innovation happen, by bringing two sets of ideas together and asking them, how do we connect? Do we connect? What's the difference? What's the similarity? What's the new thing that we could be doing together? That's why I think innovation is really connected to the exotic. And the exotic isn't necessarily that different. It's just something which isn't within the current context. To work in diversity, it's about introducing the different into the context. Because the context is the larger thing, it's the world as it is. And actually, what I want to do is change the world and change the status quo. The status quo will always only ever give you what we've had so far. If we want something different, you need to do something different. And to do something different, you need somebody different in there as part of the mix. So my hope is that within this series, I will be able to show you more perspectives of people who do things differently and are bringing new ideas into the context, into the mainstream, into the world, so that the world changes because it's being pulled into different directions by different kinds of people. It's not always being led by the same elite. That there are new perspectives and there are new people coming up all the time who have different things to say and different things to do. So that's how I would connect innovation to the exotic. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching this episode of Cultural Capital. And don't forget to go to youtube.com slash Hudson and subscribe.